Struggling to remember a physics formula? Well, what if I told you about the one physics equation to end all physics equations? Join me on a journey to discover the holy grail of modern physics, the theory of everything, which should be capable of explaining every single phenomenon in the universe. It is like baking a cake. There are some ingredients you simply must have, like flour, yeast, milk, and sugar. The fundamental ingredients we need for our theory of everything are the two most important laws of physics that we think tell us the way everything in the universe works. The standard model of quantum mechanics and general relativity. The standard model describes three of the four forces in the known universe. Electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force and gravitational force. Not only does it talk about the 17 fundamental particles called fermions that govern the structure of matter, but also mediating particles that govern the forces called bosons. But remember that one force unexplained by the standard model? This is where Einstein's theory comes in. General relativity explains that gravity is caused due to a distortion of space-time by massive objects. The larger the warp caused by this object, the greater the gravitational force exerted by it on other objects. Okay. So we have our fundamental ingredients to bake our cake of the theory of everything, the standard model and general relativity. Quick, let's get whisking. What happened? Looks like quantum mechanics and general relativity just aren't compatible with each other. I say that reality is perfectly continuous and that every action has a specific consequence. No, no, no. I say that reality is based on probabilities. We can never be sure of the outcome of anything. The problem with both theories is that gravity, as explained by general relativity, becomes nonsensical when you attempt to minimize it to the impossibly tiny quantum scale. At the Planck length of 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 35 meters, at this scale, Einstein's theory completely breaks down. But not to fear, string theory is here. String theory proposes that all matter can be thought of as one-dimensional strings with their own vibration rather than just as particles. This solves the gravity problem by corresponding a particular string to the hypothetical graviton, a boson predicted to be the mediator of the gravitational force. But the problem with string theory is that it requires not four, not five, but 11 dimensions to work. All these incompatibilities just begs the question, do we even need a theory of everything? But as evidenced by our current fight against COVID-19, science is about progress in the face of adversity and impossibility. The hunt for a theory of everything will catalyze our discovery of new theories and perfect our current understanding of the universe. The day we finalize this theory will be the day of a great scientific revolution. In the words of Dr. Michio Kaku, it is the day you and I will become masters of space and time. My name is Tendul Kamal. Thank you for watching.